Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello, Honorable Mayor, City Council, Manager. Thank you for the opportunity to speak here tonight. My name is Dr. James Eric McDonough. I live at 32320 Southwest 199th Avenue. Honorable Mayor Porter, all I can say is that I'm humbled and deeply honored that my simple words would move you to change to the point where you would change the policy. Here, it appears that I've made the front story of the front page of the local newspaper, and I was not even getting credit. But to be honest, I believe that you deserve it all. Let me remind you of your statements. And to not take you out of context, you were asked by a reporter, since Mayor Bateman had been arrested for corruption, what you were doing to help regain the trust of the citizens and make the conversation more open. To not misquote you, let me play part of your response. Uh, you know, I let the dialogue take place. I don't shut down the dialogue. I think what, what I've been able to do is give people the freedom to, f to express their opinion as opposed to having their opinion, you know, squashed or um, berated for having a different uh, idea than myself or you. So it's just, it's just opening the dialogue. In the meetings and then outside of the meetings? Oh, Honorable Mayor Porter, I guess at this point, the penultimate question I would have for you is do you feel that your actions at the last two meetings in your recent proposal comport with the high standards which you have established for yourself with your own words? Your comments. Okay. Um, <clears throat> from my position, it humbly appears there's a constitutionally ignorant presiding officer receiving inadequate advice from attorneys, fighting an upcoming First Amendment rights activist. You might want to ask the state's attorney's office how them threatening me against my First Amendment rights on behalf of Chief Roll is working out for them. It will likely be a prelude to what will happen in the future. If you think any of my statements I've made are improper or your knowledge of the Constitution is sufficient, please pass this simple civics test. Can you state what specific rights are protected in the First Amendment? These are your comments. Okay. All right. That's fine. I figured you couldn't. Um, Honorable Mayor Porter, you also said you would not allow slanderous, false, or inaccurate statements at last month's meeting. However, you then immediately made false and inaccurate statements about my actions and intentions. This is backed up clearly on the video. You even stated that you knew what I was going to say and also implied you knew what my motives are. Are you able to read mine, sir? These are your okay. comments. The only person that I've seen uh, make slanderous comments at these meetings is you. And the only person I've seen to be boisterous, rude, and disruptive is Manager Gretzis. Will you ban yourselves or at least offer me an apology? Okay. Thank you for your uncooperation. Have a good night. Thank you.